Robertson County Funeral Home has been serving families for a quarter century. When it's time to celebrate and remember, to honor in loving memory, the Robertson County Funeral Home. Another ATM machine in White House found itself under attack early Wednesday morning. The thieves nearly tore off the roof of the structure trying to get away with the ATM machine. Well, approximately 4.15 this morning, uh, we had two subjects uh, arrive here in a white uh, extended cab pickup truck. Uh, went across the street to a construction site and stole the uh, forklift from the construction site. Drove it across 76 around the back of the bank. Um, one subject uh, on the forklift attempted to uh, pick the forklift up out of, or pick the ATM up out, out of the ground, out of the cement. Um, they were able to rip that out and drop it on the ground. The uh, pickup truck pulled up in the center lane of the drive through and their intent was to uh, obviously use the forklift to lift the ATM to the back of the truck. Before they were able to accomplish that, a, a uh, citizen had come into the bank parking lot to use the ATM and came around the back of the bank and they got spooked and, and, and took off before they were able to actually finish the job. So unfortunately they've left behind about $50,000 worth of damage um, that the bank is going to have to repair. So they've pretty substantial damage. Any um, description of suspects? We know there, one was a white male, about six foot one, slender build, uh, wearing a ball cap and um, some dark clothing. Um, we'll be releasing some video later this morning uh, once we get that from the bank. Um, witness saw another subject but couldn't give us a very good description. And the truck? Truck is a extended cab white pickup. We don't know the maker model yet. We're still we got detectives looking at the uh, at the video, so we'll be releasing that information as soon as we get it. Also, pretty unusual. This is uh, number two, right? Yeah, they actually hit the Farmers Bank location on Highway 31W a few months back. Um, so I don't. Uh, they weren't much more successful this time either, uh, except they did cause a lot more damage this time, which is you know it's very unfortunate. Do you suppose this was more opportunistic, considering the location of the forklift across the street, or, or what do you think this was planned? You know, this is a, a very heavily traveled area, even at night. You know, the officers are through here um, all the time. It's the main thoroughfare of the city, so I don't know if, um, I doubt it was planned. I don't, you know, if they had, had come up here and, and watch traffic they would have known that this is really out in the open in, in the busiest part of the city i don't i don't think that uh you know they would have come up and tried that uh, we just spoke to chief brady again on the phone uh around lunchtime he uh, indicated that the pickup truck was stolen from millersville it was uh, abandoned in a field off of raymond hirsch parkway it has been recovered and uh, it is uh, presently being uh, uh, processed and will be returned to its owner and this is the second ATM machine in the White House area to find itself under attack in the last few months. Uh, the previous one, also a Farmers Bank ATM, was also nearly destroyed while the thieves tried to remove it from its platform. Uh, for more information on that burglary, simply scroll down if you're viewing this story on Smokey's main website. Smokey, of course, will continue to track this story as it develops. Any new information that is uh, brought to our attention, we will certainly bring it to you. Uh, this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in White House. Big City Dining in Springfield, Depot Bar and Grill.